Welcome to the Florida Keys. The Florida Keys are an island chain just southwest of Miami. I'm gonna show you exactly how to have an amazing vacation on a road trip from Ala Mirada all the way down to Key West. Starting in Isla Mirada, I recommend going parasailing with Sundance Water Sports at Robbie's Marina. You'll head out on a parasailing boat that holds up to 12 passengers and go parasailing two or three people at a time. Before you know it, you'll be gliding through the air. It's a smoother ride than I expected, sailing at 125 to 300 feet up. You'll soak up the incredible views all around. Across the horizon, you'll savor scenery from Everglades National Park to the Alligator Lighthouse. Down below, you'll have a bird's eye view of the Florida Keys reefs. I was amazed at the color of the water, where shades of turquoise and blue sparkled in the sunlight. Next, the Florida Keys Brewing Company is a local microbrewery and the first craft brewery in the Upper Keys. There are over 20 beers on tap, with flavors for every taste. If you can't decide, Try a beer flight to sample a few with your road trip buddies. Cheers! I've made it all the way down to Key West and it's just such a fun and lively city. I recommend spending at least two or three days here just soaking up all the sights and sounds of the city. I'm gonna show you exactly what to do while you're here. Key West is unlike anywhere I've traveled before. It's got laid-back beach vibes with a dose of commercialization and quirkiness. The warm climates, great casual restaurants, and happy hour specials remind me of the Caribbean. And then there's the quirky side of Key West, with the interesting characters you'll meet in a town dominated by chickens. Don't forget to have a key lime flavored dessert while you're here. First stop, the popular Ernest Hemingway Home and Museum that I was most drawn to for the cats. Hemingway loved cats, and his first cat, Snowball, was a polydactyl cat. This meant that she had an extra toe on each paw, looking like she's wearing mittens or has thumbs. As most of the cats at the Hemingway home are descendants of Snowball, almost all of them are polydactyl too. Walk around the home to view unique Hemingway artifacts, photographs, and of course, meet the cats who live there today. Across the street is the Key West Lighthouse, the only lighthouse in the United States entirely within the city limits. Ascend 88 steps up the circular staircase to the observation deck at the top for brilliant panoramic views of Key West. An interesting fact about the Key West Lighthouse is that its first lighthouse keeper in 1848 was a woman, which was unheard of back then. The Key West Butterfly and Nature Conservatory is a peaceful retreat. Go for a stroll around this climate-controlled, glass-enclosed habitat to witness hundreds of colorful butterflies and flowering plants. There are also two rescued flamingos that live there too. Feel your stress melt away as you wander around this tropical paradise admiring up to 60 species of butterflies. A fun activity that you might not have tried are the Key West Hydro Bikes. It's like riding a bike on the water without getting wet. I love witnessing the beautiful pink and purple sunset skies from out on the water. Now, it's time for a mojito class at Key West First Legal Rum Distillery. These guys are experts of the Cuban mojito, and they'll show you how to host mojito parties at your home too. It's all about the perfect combination and techniques to combine sugar, key lime juice, the proper amount of fresh mint, muddled of course, and then it's all about choosing a high quality rum, top it off with some soda water, and you've got yourself the perfect mojito. If you're looking for sustainable, eco-friendly, and fun things to do in Key West, my favorite tour of all goes to Honest Eco. Board Squid, one of the first electric powered passenger boats in the USA that they built from scratch. Then take the all of the above tour to see dolphins in the wild, go kayaking and snorkeling, and taste a delicious vegetarian lunch on board. The staff at Honest Eco are amazing trained biologists who focus on conservation and ethical wildlife viewing opportunities. So we're having a fantastic day out here kayaking, kayaking along the mangroves, we're seeing lots of birds, it's just so much wildlife here and it's just so beautiful. When kayaking at the Key West National Wildlife Refuge, our guide taught us all about the local birds and wildlife, including the creatures in the water beneath our kayaks. So this is a Cassiopeia jellyfish. We just scooped them up from the waters here and really, really cool. We're gonna put them back, don't worry. Just thought we'd take a closer look. Kayaking through the dense mangroves is an adventure in itself. 
Me and my kayaking partner managed to get stuck several times in the branches before we figured out our strategy to make it through. <laughs> Then we dove into the water to go snorkeling, viewing many beautiful colorful fish, lobsters, and camouflage stingrays, all while minding the jellyfish. Last of all, when you're in Key West, don't miss the nightly Mallory Square sunset celebration. Hope you have a blast on your Florida Keys road trip.